Hey everybody, Stacy here. Today is going to be pretty fun. My friend John is coming over. He's a geologist and a gold prospector. So today he's going to show us how to pan for gold in the creek behind the property. set up camp right here on this little what we call a bar so when the creek makes a curve like that it tends to deposit material on the inside bend today we're going to set up a sluice box in the creek show you how that works we're going to teach you traditional gold panning here's a piece it's making like a little e. okay it's called a weir w-e-i-r and gold mining. Tank. That's a weird name. Weird. You're talking about water fluidity and what did you call the it? The fluid dynamics, how a stream behaves, if okay. you will. What's it going to do when it sees a boulder? What's it going to do, you know, when there's a log or frost? You know, how the water behaves. Okay. And there's a whole physics behind that. I studied geology. My older father was a geologist. My older brother was a geologist, still is. And so I grew up literally doing this. Quartz, this stuff. Right. Right? Quartz. Especially what we call mineralized quartz. Like you can see different minerals like pyrite and calcopyrite and all these other minerals in the quartz. That's a good indicator. Not a guarantee. Right. But a good indicator okay. that you'll find gold. So we're talking about a sluice box. Didn't Mama have a sluice box that Daddy played all night? Or? No, Mama had a squeeze box, okay? It's a sluice box. Great song. Okay, so this is not a traditional sluice. When you put material down this sluice box now, all the lighter, less dense material comes off the top and anything dense goes through the grizzly and into the box. And so we can keep feeding material in that box, ideally. So now to clean this box up, there's no riffles, there's no moss, there's nothing to clean. All you right. do is you pick this box up, dip it into a bucket of water, shake it a couple times, and you're done. So uh, I think for starters, we'll take a sample out of this bank. about like that. See how this makes a V? Yep. It's almost ideal flow right there. And ideally if there's a big piece of gold, say that or a piece of gold, and it's just right. sitting there and not moving, you can take your snuffer bottle and suck it right up without having to wait until later when we try to recover it out of the box. Okay. You want to be careful and keep this whole thing level when you lift it out of the water. And you can turn it. Okay, so now everything's in the bucket. So now we just pan it out. I still see the one right here. Is that the other one? They're so tiny. You're killing me. Tiny. We found gold!
So again, we talked about density and all that, right? So if I liquefy this material in this pan, just like it's being liquefied in that trap in that sleeve spot, anything dense should drop with gravity to the bottom. Right. So again, I just kind of wash my rocks off. So I really want to liquefy this. So back and forth, up and down. And then as I tilt this pan, because of those Chinese traps, it's going to catch the dense material. If I stop, shake it all down to the center of the pan, get some clear water in there. I give it some taps as I'm tilting it down. And again, because of gravity, all that dense stuff is going to get caught right in that smile, right? So now you get some clear water in there. You start to backwash it towards you. Because of its density, gold will like, stick to your hand. It okay. won't move that much. Can right. I leave it down here and do that? Yeah, you want to keep the whole thing in the water. Okay. It's in the water, gotcha. right? Yep. And I'm just giving a little side to side shake. And see how the big rocks are just coming right out? Yeah. When I do that. And when you see it come to the top, give yeah. it a couple dips and all those blondes will go off. Oh, okay. Right now, give it a couple of gentle dips. Pull back, pull back. A little shake. I'll bring it all back. Now you're going to get some clear water in there, and you're going to do your back wash. One tiny piece of gold right there. See that? No. Oh, I see it. Oh, it just came back in. <laughs> now, if you saw it, it's near the smile. Tap on this edge, and it'll go to where you're tapping. Oh, it totally did. <laughs> it's right there. So far, all the gold we're finding are little tiny minute pieces that John calls fly poop because they're so small. <laughs> We're using a little sucker tool to get it out of the pan because you can't pick it up with your fingers. One bigger one there, one tiny one to the right of it. So we suck up some water in here. Suck them up, now they're in the bottle. Well, we sampled about half a dozen spots up and down the creek, and we're finding little micro pieces of gold, which is good, but we, we hope to find a little bit more. So this is our findings from today. Yeah, there's some right there. Yeah, there's probably at least 20 little Thank you guys so much for watching. Come back next week and check for new videos. Thanks to John for showing us how to pan for gold today. And we'll see you next time. If you guys want to try gold panning in your own backyard, I'm going to put a link to this gold panning kit in the description below. You'll get your own snuffer bottle, little sample glass, magnifying glass, and the gold pan. If you use my link, it's like $12.99. I get a little commission and it helps support me so I can keep making these videos. Oh yeah, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.